and grow YouTube show. So I want to kind of workshop some stuff with you. Okay. Um, first off, I think the cool, one of my favorite things about this book is I know I've, I've kind of said this before, but it feels like it's giving you permission to just be, it's giving you permission to turn to mm -hmm. yourself. It's giving you permission to not feel so overstimulated and, um, to shift your perspective. I think that's something that I'm seeing so much these days is mm -hmm. we are in control of our perspective and we can choose to show up in a loving way and we can choose to show up not. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. our job is to identify that. How do you feel like, can you speak to that a little bit? Because I feel like per this through line of perspective and being able to kind of shift mm -hmm. is, is mm -hmm. so prevalent throughout your pages. Mm -hmm. Well, it's a different, you know, some people might've heard this story. Um, there's two, two stone cutters. I haven't told this one in a long time. Two, two stone cutters. Gentleman walks up to one of them and says, what are you doing? And he says, I'm cutting the stone up into bricks. And then he asks the other stone cutter, what are you doing? And he says, I'm building a cathedral. Mm. And that's a great metaphor for like, what are you identifying with? Are you identifying as um, your job title, the size of your body, what your father said about you 20 years ago? your culture or are you identifying as you know this full bodied energetic being human on the planet that's here for a reason <laughs> you know so identifying as your true nature is going to help you navigate when you're in pain so challenges every day various degrees are you your problem? Are you small and you disconnected and you got to muddle through this or you're just like okay let's just stop I'm actually this, this great being of light. I am consciousness embodied or just, you know, I'm part of a larger community. I am loved and something is, is supporting me. Some invisible source. Mm -hmm. It's going to change how you figure out how to get in or out of a relationship. It's going to change how you talk to people at work. Um, I often, my way is you know, the Buddhists will often identify, use the metaphor of the sky. I use it a lot in how to be loving. And, you know, it was just recently I was in like, oh, I was so frustrated. I was like feeling like I was just like this, you know, wave of resentment. And I just thought, okay, stop. Actually, I'm the sky. And this is a cloud. And it sounds like po poetic and how practical is that? It's actually very practical. That's choosing a higher quality thought. That's you using your free will. That's you interrupting possibly a neurotic or obsessive pattern and just reframing it, taking a second to breathe and you approach everything differently in that moment. And you might have to do that a dozen times on one walk. Mm -hmm. but yeah. And my guiding principle is that love is not a feeling. It's not an emotion. Do, 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 do. 